So your first job when installing downlighters is deciding how many you want and where you want them. Which is normally parallel to each other, straight lines, similar distances off the wall. That's what you'll sort of see. We want to mark them onto our ceilings. So once you've decided how many you want, a quick tip to help you divide the space up nice and easy, measure the length of your room for the run that you're doing and however many spotlights you're having, you add an extra space. So if you're having three, you add an extra one, you divide your length by four. So if we hold this up. We're gonna show you a quick demonstration, Jack. One, two, three, and four gaps. And that's why you need to divide it by four. Right, now it's time to mark out your spotlights. Phil's got a quick top tip for you guys. Oh, have I. <laughs> so when you're marking a row of spotlights, if you've got more than two, so three, four, five, etc. Mark your two end spotlights and then either use a laser level or if you haven't got one of those, you can get a bit of string and fix it in the center of your two ends like that. That way, if your wall's a little bit out, they're still gonna look straight visually because they're in a perfectly straight line. So that's a quick tip for you. Right, so we've set up the laser now and we've marked either end and we're actually just gonna use this to mark the center line so all our spotlights, down lights, are all gonna line up in a nice parallel line. Nice. So now that you've marked out your holes, we can just carry on and drill them out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not quite yet, not quite yet. So before you drill any holes, get yourself a small flathead screwdriver and a small piece of copper from your wire. And we wanna fold it so it's roughly half, three quarter the size of your light. What's the reason for that, Phil? And what this is going to do, this is going to tell us if we haven't got access upstairs, whether there's a joist there or not. So we're going to punch a hole here, feed our copper in, won't go. Must be a joist there. So let's move our line over slightly, dig a new hole. And then we're going to feed our copper bend through. And if we turn this slowly, we'll see that it's spinning clearly, which means there's space for our spotlight to be drilled. Now, if you don't know what's above, check every single one to make sure they're all clear, because it's easier to fill a small hole like that than it is a big, massive hole like that. So let's drill some holes. So now it's time to cut your spotlight, guys. And what you're gonna need, you're gonna need a circular bit suitable for your size of downlight. Mine is 68 mil, so that's what I'll need to cut. Also, you will need some safety gear like Phil in this video. You'll need goggles and you will need a mask. But before drilling into any Artex ceiling like this one in the video, we have had it tested for asbestos and it's clear, so make sure you test your one at home. Also, if you run your drill in reverse while drilling the spotlights out, there's less chance of you damaging electrical cables and pipes in reverse. So it, it helps to have a hoover on hand to catch as much dust as you can get. They do sell a little dust catch collector, but we couldn't get one in time. So just use, offer up a hoover if you can get one. Now that you've drilled your holes out, now it's time to install our cables. So for that, we're gonna be using 1.5 twin and earth. It's got two cores and an earth, obviously. That's what we're gonna be using for our spotlights and it's what you should be using. So now we're gonna show you a little diagram and then we're gonna show you it in practice. So the wiring we're gonna be doing is a simple chain of cable going round from each downlight. But the first thing we wanna do is find out what our old light is closest to. So if we say this downlight here, we're then going to daisy the cable from one down light to the next, to the next, throughout your whole down light system. So from one to the other like so, and on the last down light, it finishes with a single cable. So let's go and show you that in reality. Now it's time to pull some cables for the down lighters. So like the diagram that we've just looked at, this is our original light. We're not gonna to touch the cables yet because they're still live, so don't be touching any live cables. But looking at the cabling, I know that that is now our closest down light. So that's where we're gonna start pulling our cable through. So the way we do this is we keep it in one continuous run, like so. 
So we're going to pull it around where our down lights are. So this is our last one. So if we tuck a piece of cable down there. So now that we've dropped it into our last spotlight hole, we're going to take the cable at the edge of the next spotlight drop, or the down lighter, pinch it like so, and then we're going to curl up six to eight inches, maybe a bit more of cable like so. So that's what you're going to end up with. And then we're going to drop that into the next spotlight. And then we're going to go across to the next one. Right, so now that we've done that process and made our way back to the first spotlight, let's cut that cable. And then we feed that last one through. So now, if you want to take a look, this is starting to look like that little diagram that we showed you. So we go from one to the next, to the next, to the next, all the way into the last spotlight. Now it's time to come to the exciting part, guys. It's time to wire your spotlight. I'm going to hand this bit over to Phil. This is our very first spotlight, the one that we're going to be powering up. So we're going to start here and leave this one dangling, and then we're going to show you how to move through them all. So you're going to want yourself some wire strippers. It's going to make your life a lot easier. This is the inside of a typical downlight, spotlight, whatever you know it by. And what we need to do is remove the clamp so there's a clamp that sits here and then we need to strip our cable but what we're going to do we're going to strip it a little bit too long and then we're going to trim it after i'm going to show you that and you, and the reason why so let's strip that now so simply squeeze pulls the sheath off the insulation pull it off and we're left with this and we're going to need some sleeving on that earth there and we'll show you that right so once you've stripped it what we want to end up with is something like that so i've pre-bent the little bends so they're going to their terminals so brown to live blue to neutral and the brass one the copper goes to the earth in the center what we want to end up with is that insulation this extra insulation needs to be clamped so it needs to sit like that so now that we've got it like this, we can trim these down. So when we push them into these push fit connectors, so you just push them in, it will sit perfectly where it needs to. And I'll show you that. And you'll notice that there's two terminals to each one, and that will make sense on the next one. So let's cut this down and get it terminated and show you. So now that we've tr trimmed them down a bit, we're gonna push these in. And then what you'll see is when this lid closes, we've got the outer insulation is showing and nothing else. That's what we want when we close this lid and the clamps on. Right, so now that that one's in, we're gonna leave this one open because remember, we've gotta take the cable from the original light and that is going in here as well, so we'll come back to that. So let's move on to one of these loops. Remember those loops you dropped? Now we're gonna get ourselves some cutters and we're gonna split them right down the center like so. And then we're going to be stripping these the same as we did for that original first light with our wire strippers. And remember, we're going to do them oversized. It just makes our life a bit easier. And we want something that looks like that. And then we're going to get our fitting, our down light. Remove the bracket again, that clamp, remember. And we're just going to feed these in. So that's what we'll be left with. Something that looks like that. And then we're going to trim these down to the length that we need to go into our push fits. So I'm going to just hold my finger on those. Drop the down light out of the way. Get our cutters. And if we trim that one, we know that all the rest need to match because it's flat and we've twisted those into size. <laughs> Oh, and that's what we'll end up with. And all we'll do this time is we'll just match the two together. And then we'll trim them as well, like so. And that's what we want, two that look the same. We're gonna strip some copper back on these and we'll push them in and show you what you're looking for. So now that we've got to this stage, it's just a case of pushing them in, making sure that we've not got excessive copper sticking out the top, because obviously we don't want that, we don't want no problems. And then we slide the second wire into the second port, like so, including the earth. So that's what we're looking for. Got the sleeving on, 
we've got our neutrals, blue, we've got our lives, the browns, and then we click our fitting back in. Right, so we've got our clamp in place, all our wires are secured, there's no copper hanging out, so we're gonna shut the lid. This one can be placed in the ceiling because we don't need to touch it anymore. It's only that first one we need to leave down. So we'll put these up as we go, and that is just a case of folding these spring clamps back, pushing the box up into the ceiling, and then the light will pull itself up into position like so. Let's move on. So we're gonna, we're gonna continue and finish wiring the rest of the spotlights, and then we're gonna wire the power to the lights. Right, so now it's time for the important part of putting power into our spotlights. Our first job is go down to your consumer unit and switch off all the power to make sure there is no power going to your light. Magic. Your light fitting down. And we need, before we touch anything, we need to test for power. And what you do is you grab yourself a, one of these pen testers and as long as you touch it on and there's no red, it means there's no power in the light, so it's safe to work it. So now that Brad's dropped the light, we know that there's no power here. Let's disconnect the wire and we're going to go through a couple of things that you may find when you take your existing light down. So if you find a single cable like this, it's most likely to be a two plate wiring method. So you've got a neutral, a live and a ground. This is the easiest one you can find. If you find this, celebrate. So we're going to push this up and we're going to drop it over our first spotlight and wire it straight in. No more needed. But if you find something like this. So this is another popular method, especially in the older properties. This is called free play. Again, the name's not important, but this is what you're gonna find. So let's dive into it. So if you do find something like this, it can look a little bit intimidating, but it's really not that difficult. So if you come in, I'll explain what everything is and how simple it is. So these are neutrals, these are lives, this little blue one, that's with the brown from the original light is your switch live. This is the only cable we care about. So we need to identify this before we undo or touch anything in one of these. So that blue cable there that's with the brown of the light, we want to mark that cable with a Sharpie or anything that's not going to easily come off. Once you've identified this blue cable, it may have some brown tape around it, etc., but it will be blue underneath, and it will be with a brand. So to make that very, very clear, the blue cable that is with the brown of the original light, like so, we want to mark that cable, and then we can start undoing the screws and removing the cables, and I'll show you what you do next. So we're going to start by undoing all these terminals, and removing the cables now that we've identified that blue switch cable. You don't need to undo these two outer ones with the original cables because they're going to stay with the fitting. So what you'll do, obviously this will be on the ceiling but we've put it down to make it very clear for you guys. I'm going to start removing all the cables and then we'll slide the pendant off while it's on your ceiling obviously. And you'll be left with three cables like so. And the only one we care about is this one here with the blue wire with the mark that you can put on it. This cable here goes to your switch. So from here, you're gonna want yourself a Wago box and four Wagos. And they're three way Wagos, easiest way to do it. So we're going to take our earths, all of them, including this one over here, and we're going to put them in a Wago. And then the browns and the blues of the two cables that haven't got your mark on it. So this one we're going to keep to the side because remember, we marked it. These are going to go in a Wago. We've got all our cables together except the two from the cable that we marked. So we're going to put the brown with the browns. And all we're left with now is that blue that we marked. Put a Wago all on its own on that cable like so. And that is what you're gonna be left with. Now that we've done this, we can add the cable that's gonna to go to our spotlight. 
And all that means is we're going to take the blue and we're going to put it with the two blues over here. So now we've got all our three blues together, not the one that we marked, of course. Then the earth needs to go in with these, so you may need a four-way or you can double them up. Right, and all you're going to be left with on this wire that's going to go to our spotlights is the live, the brown. That goes with that blue that you marked. So the blue that you marked originally now has a brown in it. All your blues are together, your neutrals, all your browns are together, your lives and all your earths are together. And we can now run this cable that we've added over to your first spotlight, drop it in and wire it in as normal. We won't get into what this stuff does, but that will work and that is how it should be wired. And then we're now gonna put it into our Wago box fix it to the side of a ceiling joist upstairs or underneath your floor wherever you're working shut the lid and keep keep everything safe right so now that we've covered the two types of wiring that you may find let's push this cable up and get it over to our spotlight right so now that we've dropped that cable in using one of the two methods we just covered we're going to strip it put it into our very first spotlight that we did right back way when 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 whenever that is using the same method we've done for all the other spotlights and then we get ready to switch the power on. And that is a wrap. Like and subscribe. Peace. Peace.